Bill visited the mining station named Chasm Forge after the TARDIS received a distress call from it. As oxygen was regulated and the TARDIS exterior airshell was being removed, Bill had to wear a smart suit that provided her with a force field which held air in. When entering an airlock which required a solid physical helmet, Bill's malfunctioning suit automatically took her helmet off. This meant Bill was exposed to the vacuum of space. The doctor later gave her his helmet, at the cost of his sight. After viewing an email from his virtual counterpart, the doctor called Bill asking if she knew a person called Penny. Bill did, but deemed her, out of league. The doctor assured her she wasn't and told her to call Penny that night as he had a feeling going to be very busy. Bill went on a date with Penny and told her about the virtual world the doctor had since told her about. Penny was disbelieving, but the date was going well until armed soldiers and the Secretary General of the UN arrived to collect Bill and take her to see a pyramid that had appeared overnight. On board the doctor's president plane, Bill tried to convince the doctor in the TARDIS to come and help with the pyramid, but he denied until he realized he didn't have a choice as the TARDIS had already been loaded onto the plane. At the pyramid, Bill was confused when Nardal was updating the doctor on what was happening in front of them as the latter approached the pyramid. Her phone, like every other device with a clock, received a message saying 11.57 p.m. as the monks started a countdown to the end of the earth, demanding surrender. The doctor, Bill and Nardal then took the heads of the American, Russian and Chinese armies and had them strike the pyramid in a coordinated attack. The monks stopped the attacks with ease and expressed they were ready to talk. Inside, the monks revealed that Earth would be dead in a year's time if the planet did not consent to the monks' help. The doctor was against consenting to something he didn't understand, though Bill and the others were more willing. However, the monks explained that love was needed in consent, burning the secretary general when he consented out of fear. Back on board the president plane, the army heads agreed not to fight one another believing that they would be stopping World War III, but this failed to revert the clocks. Bill compared the need for consent as to inviting vampires into a person's home. She also theorized a bacterial possibility and the doctor had them all Google possible problems. However, Bill and the army heads were considering surrendering Earth to ensure the planet survived, unwilling to put such risk especially when the clocks moved to 11.58 p.m. As the doctor and Nardal deduced the problem as a biological component released in a lab, Bill and the army leaders went to the pyramid as the countdown reached 11.59 p.m. Inside, the army leaders were burned by the monks for consenting out of strategy. Bill went to leave when the doctor managed to solve the biological problem and the countdown began to go backwards. However, when the doctor could not leave due to being blind and unable to spin the combination lock, Bill returned and consented to the monks having authority over the doctor in return for his sight being restored. Before the monks accepted her pure consent out of love, she told the doctor to save her planet. Bill was reunited with Nardal during the monks' reign over Earth. She had been away from Nardal and the doctor for six months since their last adventure. The monks had inserted themselves into history during this time, however, Bill had refused to fall for the mental deception. Nardal located Bill and helped her find the prison hulk where he believed the doctor was making his broadcasts and was captive there. The doctor told Bill he was cooperating willingly with the monks, believing that humanity was doomed without their guidance. Bill became distraught and shot the doctor with a gun she took from one of the SWAT troops, who appeared to begin regenerating, but quickly stopped. The entire scenario was revealed to have been a test by Nardal, the doctor and the team, to make sure Bill was not under the influence of the monks. At the university where the doctor and Bill worked, they entered the vault to talk to Missy, who said she had encountered the monks before. She confirmed the monks maintained control by broadcasting a signal containing the false history to their subjugated victims via the numerous statues they had built across Earth, enabled by a psychic link established through the person who originally gave consent. Missy claimed to have defeated them during her own encounter by killing that individual. She implied that Bill must die as the one who gave consent on Earth. Bill accepted her fate, but the doctor was determined for another solution. Along with Nardal and the SWAT troops, they infiltrated the monk's pyramid in London so that the doctor could hijack their broadcast with his own mind to break the psychic transmission. In the central chamber, the doctor attempted to link his mind to the controlling monk, who after a struggle overpowered the doctor. Bill intended to sacrifice herself, linking her own mind to the monk's despite the doctor's protests. 
The monk's broadcast was replaced with images of Bill's mother, which the doctor recognized as a strong and loving memory in Bill's mind. Humanity woke up from the monk's lies and revolted against them. The doctor, Bill, and Nardal watched as the monks abandoned Earth. Sometime later, the doctor and Bill found that most of humanity had no recollection of the monks. When the doctor was correcting the books of the Terence Dix Library, the building was demolished by a bowship piloted by the doctor's daughter, Jenny. After Jenny had explained the events that led to her arrival, Bill was ready to help only to be shocked by the white energy that emanated from the void, finding she was immune to it. As possessed unit forces arrived and starting advancing menacingly, the doctor ushered everyone into the TARDIS only to find it had been merged with that of his tenth incarnation, with the eighth and ninth doctors soon arriving. The doctors managed to trace and neutralize the malignant energy but doing so left only the twelfth doctor with any memories of what had happened, him happily taking Bill and Nardal away to tell them what had just happened. With Nardal joining the doctor and Bill on off-world adventures, the trio visited NASA and discovered the phrase, God save the Queen, on the surface of Mars. The trio arrived on Mars in 1881 and Bill became separated from the doctor when she fell down a hole, causing Nardal to return to the TARDIS and get stuck there when the TARDIS returned to Earth. The doctor and Bill reunited and discovered an ice warrior called Friday working with a group of Victorian soldiers. The doctor and Bill pretended to be from the police. After the Empress was awoken, Bill and the doctor were locked up by Captain Catchlove, who wanted Mars for himself. Friday rescued them and Bill attempted to prevent an all-out war between the Ice Warriors and the humans. When the crisis was resolved, the TARDIS returned and Bill learned that Missy had been let out of the vault by Nardal to rescue them. Bill, the doctor and Nardal traveled to Edinburgh in 1645 where they encountered a city plagued by ghosts and the actual plague. When the vault needed a new relative dimensional stabilizer, the doctor took Bill and Nardal to Ubermarket where Bill helped a lost pathical child called Taito find her parents. When the doctor was drawn to the inactive Yedin, Bill encountered the heavenly hosts. As the ship became more dangerous, the doctor instructed Bill to return to the TARDIS and activate emergency protocol 13-9 which granted Missy remote control of the TARDIS. As the ship dematerialized, Bill saw a sign that read, Find me, Bill. From the doctor. Rushing to find him, Bill was too late to warn him of a weeping angel behind him. As more and more angels began appearing, Bill volunteered to try and vent the angels into space before she reunited with the doctor, having been sent back in time and arranged for his return. When it was found that the weeping angels were using the heavenly hosts as breeding stock, the doctor evacuated the Yedin leaving it to be consumed by a red giant star before taking everyone back to Earth. At Goslegi's branch, the doctor and Bill encountered a Dalek harvest ship abducting the local children. Using his childish mindset and some creative rewiring, the doctor disabled the ship, gifting it to the locals. Eventually, Bill discovered a guide on how to be a companion in the TARDIS. Written by Clara Oswald, the guide detailed many of the doctor's adventures and former traveling partners with Clara hiding it in the one place she knew a companion would find it. Bill left her own message in the text. After Bill got into an argument with the doctor about the fate of the Ninth Roman Legion, they, along with a reluctant Nardal, traveled to second-century Scotland. Bill once again got separated from the doctor when she was chased by Carr and then encountered a Roman. She witnessed the Roman get eaten by a mysterious creature and got rescued by the remaining Romans, who survived the creature's attack by running away. After being knocked unconscious for two days by the creature's slime, Bill awoke and worked with the Romans to find the doctor. Upon being attacked by the creature again, Bill and the Romans escaped and encountered the doctor and Nardal with the Picts. Bill and the doctor helped the two sides work together and then worked to send the creature back through the portal where it came from. When the doctor attempted to stay behind and guard the gate, Bill knocked him to the ground to stop him and reminded him of his duties to guard the vault on Earth. When they returned to the TARDIS, Bill and Nardal discovered that the doctor had let Missy out of the vault for maintenance. Despite his two companions not trusting her, the doctor maintained the belief that Missy could change. Bill and Nardal, watched over by the doctor, became Missy's companions on a test trip to determine whether she could reform from her evil ways. While surveying the colony ship they were on, Bill was mockingly called the exposition by Missy. 
Bill was mortally wounded by a paranoid technician who was the only one left of his crew, due to her being human and supposedly a target for an unknown threat. Unable to save her, the doctor allowed her to be taken by medical figures who had come from the lower levels of the ship as he understood were capable of healing her. He left a message in her subconscious for the moment she awoke, wait for me.